Support. No, I still, please. Last record rundown of 2022, and we at least have one thing to talk about. This will be for the week of December 31st. 2022. On this day in music back in 1731, Peter Pelham, a visual artist, would host the first music concert in what would later become the United States of America at his Boston residence. In attendance was his 10-year-old son, also named Peter Pelham, who would go on to become a composer. So the one thing we actually have to talk about charted on just the Billboard 200. So for the last time in 2022, we are going to skip all the way to... And now I need some help! Fun of my show, please. The snow's coming down. I'm watching for this album might get referenced again in a thing that might be releasing tomorrow. Fun fact, Superhero Heroes and Villains, the track I just played, actually has a reference to The Dark Knight, the Batman film from 2008. It references a Harvey Dent quote. <laughs> Debut studio album of RM from BTS. This originally charted actually earlier in this month, but now it has finally gotten to the top five thanks to its physical CD release. It must be exhausting, always rooting for the anti-hero. Obviously, it was released too late to actually qualify for the 2023 Grammys, but it'll probably get nominated for the 2024 Grammys. Give me a second, give me a minute, now nah, little bitch can't let you finish, and that's right, I need commissions on my... On the track Good Days, it has an interpolation of In Too Deep, which was originally done by Jacob Collier. And that's a wrap on 2022. Come back next week when we start off 2023. And come back tomorrow for the special end of year video, which is going to be a bit different this year, but hey. And now I need some help. I don't want to stop, please.